Welcome back. The preservation of sight among youth is actively being pushed by the St. Lucia Blind Welfare Association. A continued effort of the Kids in Sight program will be rolled out in 2020 following a short lapse in the program in 2019. With the proliferation of screen usage and a large number of youth with vision problems, the president of the St. Lucia Blind Welfare Association urges parents to take action to ensure the longevity of their child's eye health before it's too late. Solange Alfred reports. Executive Director of the St. Lucia Blind Welfare Association, Anthony Avril, is looking forward to the 2020 edition of the continuation of the Kids in Sight program. Anthony says, an alarming and surprising revelation of the program thus far has been the vast number of children who suffer with issues related to their vision. This is what surprised us really. Before we put the Kids Find the program into the school system, the feeling was that the vision problem was not that big among children and among young people. It was the, an old people thing that people, we, we, people thought in St. Lucia. But from the 80s, when we started uh, what we had a program called Eyes for Life, and we targeted the school system, we were surprised to discover um, the amount of children you have in the school system with vision problem, which was not noticed, which was, uh, and even to this point, <clears throat> in spite of the fact that we are very much there and very uh, visible and we, uh, we're working with the various groups around the island, you still have some children that are uh, 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 not being picked up, you know, um, early enough. He continues by urging parents to use the available resources to ensure their child is without vision issues. Avril says early detection is important in ensuring longevity of eyesight. The key thing we want to tell people, if you notice your child is having a problem or your child complain not being able to see properly, do not waste time. The earlier you can detect it, the easier it is to address it. Meanwhile, the Vision Council, an advocacy group for optical manufacturers and distributors, claims Besides playing outside, the most popular activities children engage in are playing on a digital device and watching TV. And American adults report their children experience the following after being exposed to two or more hours of screen time. Headaches, neck, shoulder pain, eye strain, and dry or irritated eyes. Avril says... Only time will tell the full impact of digital eye strain. The children spend more time with their tablets and their various types of, of, of phones. <laughs> and like uh, maybe not, not enough time to do a, a more physical activity. And, and it's, um, um, it will be interesting, you know, um, to, to know, I know how to the extent to which that, that this may be contributing. Uh, we don't like to make pronouncements. Um, we like to, when we make some pronouncements, we have, we can back it up with, with scientifically. But it, it is appearing to us that um, um, there might be an issue which may well haunt us later. Um, the, we, your, your, your eyes was given to you to use, but like the, the rest of your body, you need to look after them. You know, you need to look after the body, you need, you need to look after your eyes. Uh, we cannot just, just treat, treat them anyhow. The Kids Inside program is available for students who suffer from a wide range of eye-related issues. The SLBWA partnered up with the University of West Virginia to make the Kids Inside program a reality. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I am Sola Jalfred. The St. Lucia Labour Party will kick off its 2019 Conference of Delegates on Sunday, the 13th of October at 3 p.m. at the Stanley John Odlum Secondary School under the theme Forward with Unity and Purpose. In addition to delegates from the 17 constituencies, the Labour Party Women's Organization and the Labour Party Youth Organization, the open session will also be open to supporters and well-wishers. The feature address at the SLP's 2019 conference will be delivered by Marcella Libbard, who is the deputy political leader of the St. Kitts and Nevis Labour Party. 
SLP leader Philip J. Pierre will deliver the annual political leader's policy address to the conference, during which he will point to the purposeful forward path of the Labour Party, which will lead to victory at the next general elections. The conference will continue on Sunday, the 20th of October, with the closed session at the same venue, where internal party business will be dealt with. Thanksgiving is known as a time of togetherness and giving. In true spirit of the occasion, the Anglican Church on Monday, the 7th of October, observed their harvest celebration. A grand bazaar on the compound of the Anglican Church was held for all Anglicans and members of the public. Suraj Alfred tells us more. The Anglican Church Harvest was celebrated in grand style on Monday, October 7th, with a bazaar held on the church compounds. Supporters of the church came to purchase produce and items on sale, ranging from toys, books, and bags. The family-friendly activity offered fun for both adults and children. Anglican priest and Archdeacon of St. Lucia, Christian Glasgow, says the harvest celebration is the perfect time for both Anglican and non-Anglicans to be a part of a celebration which gives praise to God as well as provides an opportunity for introspection. So we are celebrating our Harvest Thanksgiving Festival. It began on Sunday with the actual Eucharist and the blessing of the produce and uh, Today we actually have the Grand Bazaar in which you have the sale of produce, we have the various meals, the breakfast, the lunch, the dinner and uh, it's basically a day of fellowship where Anglicans, non-Anglicans, anyone can come around and celebrate and give God thanks. So what really is Harvest Thanksgiving and what it is all about? You know, in my 20 odd plus years as a priest, I've seen a number of things pass for Harvest Thanksgiving. I remember on another island where I served, Harvest basically was nothing more than a fair and just about everybody else had it as a fundraiser. But Harvest Thanksgiving has to go into scripture and we have to look first and foremost at our identity. Glasgow says the celebration of harvest is a reminder of community togetherness, which must remain as part of a Christian lifestyle. He highlights the origins of harvest as one deeply rooted in the biblical teachings. It must be recognized that as human beings, and more so as Christians, we believe that we are sons and daughters of God, created in the likeness and image of God for His honor and His glory. As such, therefore, we are created to be in community. An understanding which is developed in the New Testament by St. Paul when he speaks about body theology, the variety of parts, and yet all equally important and necessary for its growth and development. So in this sense, therefore, we find the roots of harvest in the Old Testament and to be precise in the book of Deuteronomy. And there, as Moses is preparing to say farewell to God's people as they come out of bondage in Egypt, he gave them several instructions. And one of them basically was to ensure that when they entered the promised land and that they settled down and things were going well with them, that they did not forget that it is God, their God, who brought them thus far and had given to them all that they had. And as such, one way to keep this remembrance going was every year to celebrate what was called the Harvest Thanksgiving. Glasgow went on to explain the biblical context in detail, where offerings were made in Thanksgiving. The long-standing Anglican Church annual Thanksgiving harvest was well attended by fellowship members looking to uphold the tradition. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I am Sula Jalford. Scores of hotel workers in St. Lucia joined the travel search engine Expedia Group in its second annual VG Beach cleanup, which took place on Saturday, the 5th of October. This was part of the Expedia Group Day of Caring, which is observed globally. 
A beautiful picture postcard Saturday morning was the backdrop for an environmental awareness initiative staged for the second year by the Expedia Group. We have partnered with the SLTA, uh, Coco Palm and Tikai Resorts as well as many other of our hotel partners to give back to the community and do our part. Rochelle Bidlovsky led the efforts to clean up the VG Beach and the stretch of road along the George F. L. Charles Airport. This is part of our day of caring. We have a month of caring actually at Expedia, which is the month of September. However, um, I came at the very end of September, so we're doing it today on October 5th. Dozens of hotel staff turned out to support the awareness campaign. And we are happy that Expedia is leading that charge. We are happy that so many of our industry stakeholders are joining us here today to demonstrate their commitment in such a positive way. It's, it's, it's a lot of, a lot of um, plastics. Bottles, glasses, forks, empty wrappers. The cleanup activity is designed to rid VG Beach of plastics and other debris but it also signals the need for better garbage disposal practices, especially by persons coming to enjoy the beach. I mean, we sell the idea of being on the beach of surf, of sand and sea. Well, really and truly, if we do not take care of it, what are we selling? Styrofoam, a tire. <laughs> Tikai Resorts provided a truck for the collection and disposal of the trash collected as part of its support for the initiative. Earlier in the year, we um, cleaned up the entire Roseau stretch, so we're very happy to be here today with Expedia to do this, to, to do yet another highway. And certainly, whenever we can get stakeholders of various industries coming together, hotels, destination management companies, taxi drivers, all the volunteers coming together to clean up St. Lucia, not just for tourism, but certainly for the benefit of all St. Lucians, I find that that is just such a positive thing and I'd like to thank all the volunteers, all the partners that came together to make today possible. We have 14 right. of us. Yes. 14. At the end, the volunteers were all treated to a light breakfast and special treats and urged to encourage and support ongoing environmental awareness activities like the Expedia Day of Caring. Staff across the Massey Stores locations on island observed Internal Customer Service Week in September. Observed annually, it is a means of recognizing and expressing gratitude to the 1,200 Massey Stores team members who serve and support customers on a daily basis. Massey Stores celebrated its 2019 Internal Customer Service Week with the theme Creating the Magic of Service with Love and Care. The platform provides an outlet to say thank you to the Massey team. Customer Service Manager Claudia Niles says providing great internal customer service is imperative to the company's success. Customer Service Week allows us to purposefully thank and show gratitude to our team members by giving them a card, a token, a gift, and um, a celebratory lunch, which is actually taking place today. And it is always something that our team members look forward to. We understand and invest in our team members because we want to increase our job satisfaction. When our employees are happy, our customers are happy. And so ultimately, satisfied employees really is satisfied customers. Marcy Stores 2019 Internal Customer Service Week activities spanned three days. On the first day we had card day and it has become a tradition at Massey to have card days where we exchange cards with kind words and with words of gratitude between team members, be team members and their, their, um, their direct reports. Um, so we did that on the Wednesday, on Thursday, we recognize our long service, long serving team members. We recognize persons who have been in the company for 20 years plus, and we have 145 team members throughout the organization. One of the highlights of the week was the recognition of employees who have given over two decades of service to the company. Head of HR Nicola Villanor Paul says it is necessary to acknowledge those who have laid the path for the company's success. We have people from all across the organization 
145 team members with our own managing director being 20 years we have team members who are 40 have given 40 years of service and we celebrated them earlier this year and we continue to do that throughout the the year so um, this is a culmination of this activity and we really would like to celebrate our team members thank them for their service and ask them to continue giving that great service that they give to Massey stores for 20 years and more this year marked the fourth of the company's internal customer service week. Some 1,000 Marcy Stores team members were recognized. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I am Solaj Alfred. This is the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. Tennyson Glasgow is up next with all the spotting action.